Today, we are making a beat with my vocals. This is not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna sound great at first. I'm gonna throw some effects on it. And I'm gonna show you how anyone with, doesn't matter how good your voice is, you could be completely terrible like me, and you're gonna make some crazy beats. Like, I'm talking, like, you're, you're not ready for this, so stay tuned, you gotta see this up. All right, let's get straight into this. Um, so I got this beat already pre-made for you guys. I just went into Scalar 2 and got some chords and then started building from there. I give, I'll give you a listen really quick. Super vibey. We can copy and paste it over a couple bars so we can get a vibe when we're rapping or singing into this. Okay, so what you want to do to start off is, um, normally you'd want to go to settings and go to preferences and go to audio. And you're probably going to want to turn your IO buffer size down to like 64 or 128. But since I'm screen recording and recording my audio, I want to keep it a little higher so my computer doesn't crash. So I'm just going to try to do it on 256. The mic, there's probably going to be a little delay between the mic and my voice, which is okay. We can figure it out. So we're going to create a new software instrument, and we're going to go to audio, and we're going to make sure that we have our microphone set as our input device. And I have my output device here, which I have it for my screen recording set. Um, so it might look a little different for you. So I'm going to create a new device. And I'm gonna make sure I pan this to the middle. Sometimes it pans to the left, I'm not sure why. Pre-made already vocal chain here. Um, I'll show you what it sounds like, it's pretty cool. Reverb on this one, so I'm gonna turn down the reverb, turn off this little delay, and, and turn off a little altar boy for now. But I'll show you what I have for these settings so you can kind of copy them yourselves. I might add a little reverb. Okay, so, um, add limiter on here, just to crank up the vocals. Um, I have pitch correction on here, I'm gonna make sure I have it in F, uh, F major. So we'll just go to that really quick. Um, I think I'd talk in like the normal vo range voice a little bit more. If your voice is a little lower, you might wanna go with the lower preset. I'm gonna go with the normal for now. And so this is the response time right here. So the higher or the lower it is, the more like T-Pain voice you're gonna have. So let's, let me just show you. I'm gonna have it all the way down because my voice sucks but it's okay um you can turn on eq if you want to clean up the vocals a bit I might crank this back a bit because i think it's a little too much um i throw a compressor on you can copy these this preset here i just use the vintage medium um i'm not super huge on compressors but it, they do help for your voice for sure it makes them louder and Definitely keeps them all, like the voice, in the same frequency levels. Next, I added the uh, Valhalla's Vintage Verb, like I just showed you. This, I like to hear it in my headphones, so like, I like the reverb on it. I think it makes me sound pretty cool. Um, let me just turn these down. A bit. I'm just gonna try to cut them up with some vocals here. Um, Let's just get the vibe. My garage door is being opened right now, so give it a sec. 
All right, let's try to record something. with that let me just mute this okay so that sounds really good to me um let's just play it really quick so you can hear it So high, but I'm so low. I like how I'm so low. You can also do this with pretty much all, like all these effects are pretty much free. Like you can use these reverbs that I have, but you can use any reverb you want and just adjust it to how you like to hear it. Um, like auto tunes free. It's a stock plugin. I mean, Little Alter Boy is the only one I'd say that's different. Um, it's kind of harder to replicate but there is a way i believe um not 100 percent necessary though it sounds good without it. it sounds absolutely amazing to me um i could always go back and re-record it make it sound a little better or chop it up in places i like but i kind of like it like this i think it's like super smooth kind of has a humanized feel to it it's not perfect i've been doing this for the past couple weeks and just having a blast with it um i'll even show you a beat that i made with a couple other of my producer buddies shout out to forever in king dizza let's see which one's it called the kid i'll tell you which parts of my vocals Ooh, ah. 
Gives you that Don Teller, Don Teller vibe. We also have this one we made. I know I drive you crazy. I know I do, I know I do. Maybe yeah. I'm confused. I just abuse. Whip it up, chef. Desi, you a fool for this one. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless with this kind of stuff. Thank you for watching. Go subscribe. Go comment uh, what you want to see in future videos. If you've got any questions about how you can set this up for yourself, um, see you in the future videos.